Third for Palmer from the rough on the left. Ball seemed to be sitting okay. That was a clunky sounding shot, though. That was not good. No, high off the face, went absolutely nowhere. It's going a long way now, though. Watch this. <laughs> He's walking ahead of it. He knows. <laughs> yes, he did. Oh. Ooh. All right, Palmer trying to gather himself now. Play his fourth shot here at nine. Nicely done. Below the hole. Palmer now for a par at nine. Okay, could have been worse. Goes out with three under. So Ryan Palmer is right there. He's at 20 under. Earlier today, though, Rolfin, we were watching it. It was your hole. It was a situation where he didn't quite get it up to the green, came all the way back down, and then watch what happens. Yeah, it doesn't hit this one nearly far enough, and he knows where it's going to end up, or approximately, so he starts walking ahead of the ball. Back down the hill now. You'll see a couple of old divots here. You wonder whether he thinks maybe that ball is going to end up there as he brushes the divot away. That, I think, would be deemed improving your line. Ball never actually got there, so we'll see. I'm sure the officials will sort it out with Ryan. And they are. They're going to they're talk to him, no doubt, have him take a look, and... Uh, See what was going through his mind at that point. Palmer, who walked to the scoring area with a smile on his face, but then a little bit of stress as you talk to the PGA Tour rules officials. From your perspective, take us in that room and go through the conversation, please. Well, when I walked in there, I saw Munch with a book out, John Munch, and I was like, what's this about? And I started going through my mind on the day. And then when he said, we have a situation on nine, and I immediately was like, let's see, they have hit a good three wood, fluff the chip. Told James hit the wrong club, and then went to my, where I ended up chipping again. So I was like, I still have no idea. Well, then he showed me the video, and I looked at him. I go, what am I looking at? And it took me to watch it twice to understand what he was talking about. And then in disgust, I kicked the divot, but the ball was five feet away from me where it ended up stopping. And I was like, I don't know what still what you're asking me, because there was no intention of me trying to help my ball, because there's no way my ball, the ball will get close to where I was at. And I was just discussing to James. I hit the wrong wedge on the chip shot. In disgust, and as I, as I got there, I just kind of did the old kick a divot, pissed off motion, and the ball stopped five feet away from me. So after that, it was a. Uh, I mean, based on the rules of golf, I mean, there was no intention of me trying to abuse the rule. There's no way because that ball was not even be close to where I was, where I was at. 